What's up, Price Fight fans? I'm Brian Tong, and this is the Price Fight you've been all waiting for between two of the heaviest hitting Android phones. It's a Price Fight punch out between the HTC One M8 and the Samsung Galaxy S5. Our judges for this fight are senior editor Jessica Pineapple Dolcourt, associate editor Lynn Ulala, -la, and you know who? Ring a ling a ding tong. We'll take all three judges' scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same system. Let's get it started. Round one is designed. The HTC One M8's sexy aluminum body makes me want to do things that we're not allowed to show you. It's arguably the sexiest five inch phone we've ever seen with its slightly higher 441 pixels per inch density, a slightly brighter display, and it's learned from its predecessor with curved corners and smooth edges that just don't quit. This is one of the best built Android phones you'll ever see. Now on a quick glance, the Galaxy S5 might look pretty similar to the S4, but it brings a larger 5.1 inch screen with a 432 pixel per inch density and a slightly more rectangular shape. It still feels plastic and that's not a knock against it. Its dimpled backside isn't as slippery as the M8 and it's lighter in weight, but it doesn't come close to the premium feel and construction that HTC brings. HTC's design can't be beat and it takes this round with a perfect five and the S5 gets a four. Next round is user interface and controls. Both phones run Android 4.4.2 KitKat out of the box and bring their own unique feel and features on top of it. HTC's Sense 6.0 UI is their cleanest to date, bringing a flatter and simpler user interface that's straightforward. It's my favorite flavor of Android, and its blink feed feature for up-to-date information gets better with more customization. Now, Samsung's TouchWiz interface has also cleaned up its act from the past, but when you're a phone that can do everything, it can make it tricky to keep things simple. It has a new flatter look for icons. The UI is still just as customizable, it also brings My Magazine, which is their own version of Blinkfeed with customizable content, but it just isn't as clean as HTC's. Here, uh, just look at these two home screens. This one typically comes down to personal preference, but our judges give the HTC a 4.7 and Samsung gets a 4. So after averaging two rounds, the HTC one leads big 4.9 to 4. Next round is featured. Both phones come with 16 to 32 gigs of storage and a micro SD card slot that supports up to 128 gigs of additional space. HTC has made it a point to bring something unique to the table with its new motion launch gestures from the home screen or picking up the phone to answer it directly when it rings. Hey, big boy. Ugh. And yes, Samsung has that too. Its boom sound stereo speakers are still a feature favorite of mine for any phone and it doesn't lack anything major. Whoa. But then you look at Samsung's Galaxy S5 and it stays true to its past as the phone that I call the feature freak of nature. There may be non-essential features like the heart rate monitor on the back, but it's the first ever on a phone and its S Health app is also legitimate. There's a fingerprint scanner for security, but it's not always an easy swipe. Multi windows are still Samsung's thing and they started the whole motion gestures control. In fact, they were the first Jedi phone. The S5 is using low energy Bluetooth and micro USB 3.0, while the M8 is using standard Bluetooth 4.0 and micro USB 2.0. Plus, the S5 has a super fast charging mode if you use their charger cable. This one's no contest. The S5 gets a perfect five and the M8 gets a four. Next round is web browsing and multimedia. Web browsing on both of these displays is a treat with their large screens and both screens handle HD quality movies just fine. Now both phones have access to the Google Play Store and you'll still find the occasional new app on iTunes first, but all the major ones are here and their library of multimedia content is robust. Now the biggest distinguishing feature between these two phones are their cameras. ATC brings their dual four megapixel ultra pixel cameras it shoots 1080p video at 60 frames per second with a super clean interface to switch between modes. And U-Focus is their standout feature that allows you to choose what part of the picture is in focus after you've taken it. That's sick. Now the S5 really brings a superior 16 megapixel camera that also shoots 
4K video at 30 frames per second and 1080p video at 60 frames per second and brings a lot of filters and features that don't make it the simplest interface. Now the results speak for themselves in our photo comparisons and the S5 just brings more vibrant colors that are natural and that's something that even you focus can't change. The Galaxy S5 takes this round with a 4.7 and the M8 gets a 3.7. So after averaging four rounds, we're tied at 4.4 points apiece, the final round that decides it all, performance. Both phones are snappy performers, bringing Qualcomm's quad-core Snapdragon 801 chipsets with the G5 clocking in at a higher 2.5 gigahertz compared to the M8's 2.3. Both phones bring two gigs of RAM, but the fact is megahertz just doesn't tell the whole story after matching these two beasts up in our performance tests. Now, in our 3D Mark Unlimited test that tests graphics performance, the HTC One edged out the Galaxy S5 across multiple tests. And then, in the GFX Benchmark test, the M8 edged out the S5 in almost every test again, but by a small margin. Now, all this means is that these are top tier performing phones, but when it came down to CNET's battery video drain test, the ACC One M8 lasted nine hours and 52 minutes, compared to the Galaxy S5 that squeezed out 15 hours and 18 minutes of juice. That's flat out impressive. Now, each phone has a power saving mode, but that disables a lot of the normal functionality, and our judges all agree the S5 gets a perfect five and the M8 gets a four. So let's average out all five rounds, and ACC took a strong lead early, but Samsung then just flexed its muscle in the last three rounds, taking this slobber knocker 4.5 to 4.3, and is your prize fight winner. Both of these phones are truly the cream of the Android crop. You know, I personally prefer the ACC One M8, but ultimately, the choice is always up to you. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time for another prize fight. Selfie.